Today's topic is quicksort, which is the first recursive algorithm that we will be talking about. So, the first step in this algorithm is the selection of the pivot element. You can pick any element that you like, but it's common to either pick the first element in the list or the last element like I'm doing over here in the animation. Now, the second step of the algorithm is the so-called partitioning and this is where the magic happens. The purpose of the partitioning is to swap elements in the list so that the pivot element is in the middle and all elements that are less than the pivot are on the left side and all elements that are greater than the pivot are on the right side. Given that I have selected the last element of the list as the pivot, this is accomplished with a loop that runs from the beginning of the list up to the element just before the pivot as indicated by the red pointer in the animation. Furthermore, we also have the blue pointer which we are using to determine the position in the list where the pivot element has to go in the end. Whenever the element under the red pointer is less than the pivot, we simply swap its position with the element under the blue pointer and move the blue pointer one place to the right. This has the effect that all elements to the left of the blue pointer are smaller than the pivot. The last step of the partitioning is to swap the element under the blue pointer with the pivot element itself. At this point the recursion comes into play. We simply execute the same algorithm for the sublist that's to the left of the pivot and once again for the sublist that's to the right of the pivot. This already was a full description of the quicksort algorithm. I hope you found this interesting and thank you for watching. Bye.